This video is only for folks who want to edit their Zoom recordings. For folks who just want to download their Zoom recordings and upload them to media site, we have other videos on that. So if you do want to edit your Zoom recordings, just be aware that when you download the video, you have to download the transcript separately. They don't come with the video. And when you upload the video and the transcripts, they work together. But if you edit the video, then the transcripts don't work anymore. So the way to fix that would be to, you could use a video editor that can accept transcripts. Camtasia can do that. And if you ever use video editors before, Camtasia is sort of okay to use, but it costs a little bit under $200 for the education pricing. Premiere Pro can also edit transcription with video. And Premiere Pro is free with your school account, but Pre Premiere Pro is a commercial or a professional video editor and it's much harder to use. So this is going to be a workaround. It takes more time, but it's very user friendly. We're going to use a free program called OBS Studio. So I'm going to just Google download OBS. That takes me to obsproject.com download. Then you'll download the one that matches with your computer and install it. And if you're using a work computer, you'll need IT's help with this for admin credentials. Once you have it installed, you can go ahead and open it. Let's go ahead and set up audio. It defaults to capturing two audios, your desktop audio and your mic input. We're going to turn off mic input. We want to just capture the desktop audio. So I'm just going to hover over this sound or this mic icon here and click and notice how it turns red and it has an X. So now it's only going to capture the audio coming out of the desktop. And now I'm going to add my window here, but I need to go ahead and get into Zoom first going to go to alamo.zoom.us sign in you might get routed through aces sign in to aces on the left hand side go to recordings find the recording that you want to put in media site along with transcripts now decide which one you want share a screen with speaker view that would be your screen and video if it was on you speaker view would be just you only and so on i'm going to go ahead and click this one and notice what I have here. I have the video and I have the transcripts off to the side. But what I want to do is, once again, this is a workaround, kind of an unorthodox way to do it. I'm going to click CC right here on the video itself. So now the transcription is on the video. And again, if you download this, it won't come with the video. So now we're going to actually record this screen. But let me go back to OBS. And in this middle box under sources, I'll click the plus. I'm going to add display capture. Now, if you're working with dual monitors, this is a little easier to use. I'm working with a single monitor, so it's going to look kind of weird for a minute, but, but I'll click display capture, create new. Okay. And of course, it's just copying a display of the display of the display or a copy of the copy, so it looks weird now. But if I minimize this, now it's actually seeing this display, but we can't see OBS right now. So it's not a problem. But it looks the way I want it, so I'm going to click OK. And over here on the right hand side, in the second option, I'm going to click Start Recording. And now I'm going to minimize OBS, so now it's actually recording this screen. I'm going to click over here on the bottom right to make this full screen. And now I'm going to just play my video. And when your video is done playing, you can close it. Back to OBS, you can click Stop Recording. Now to find your recording, go to File. Show recordings. It'll take you to your file manager and it named your recording today's date and the current time. Let's take a look at it. Now, of course, it, it captured this before we minimize OBS. If you had dual monitors, you wouldn't have this problem, but it's really not a big deal. We can just edit this part out because we were going to edit the video anyway. And notice here is the screen that I recorded. So you can see the video and you can see the closed captioning now it's actually in the video so as you edit the video it won't ruin the timings but let's keep going and i probably want to edit this part out too until i get to this part where i make it full screen and i start playing the video so this is the part i want to keep Okay, so this video is all ready to be edited. So you can upload this to MediaSite and use the MediaSite editor. 
You could also use Adobe Premiere Rush. That's a simple to use video editor. And it comes free with your Alamo credentials. It's part of your Adobe account. And I have video on how to use Adobe Rush in our YouTube channel. It's called Adobe Premiere Rush, a basic yet powerful video editor. And the name of our channel is NLC IT Help Desk.